Welcome back. You may have seen the word aphasia in the news recently after actor Bruce Willis was diagnosed with it. The disorder affects a person's ability to communicate similar to that of a stroke. Locally, there's much research going into aphasia and stroke along with therapeutic measures to help. As Michael Cantu shows us, some of those measures include the use of music and art. Inside Texas Tech's Majin Theater, the finishing touches are put on an upcoming show, part of a two-week camp for people recovering from stroke or living with aphasia. So people that can't speak as well can often still sing. Art and music uh, can be their communication for two weeks, and it's beautiful to see. It is a camp both Sarah Taylor and Brenna Price have been helping with for the last 10 years. Okay, here we go. Price as the choir director, putting together a program with music spanning multiple decades. I need you to change your phrase. And Taylor as the art director, putting together projects for the attendees, both of which have backgrounds in speech therapy. Arts and medicine has always been a passion of mine. We know the power of the arts in recovery from stroke. All this is through the help of Melinda Corwin, a professor at the Texas Tech University Health Sciences Center who specializes in stroke and aphasia recovery. <laughs> Research has found stroke and aphasia damage the left side of the brain, so... We want to use the healthy right side of the brain as a mediator, if you will, to help the left side of the brain in recovery and healing. People even with pretty severe aphasia, they might not be able to say, hello, how are you, to their family, but when it's a birthday party, they can sing happy birthday with everyone. The same theory with the visual arts. It's neat to watch these participants not be able to necessarily speak or have conversations like you and me, but their art and their music speaks for themselves. And attendees get practice in communication, either verbally or through writing, all the while speech language pathology students help they take did. notes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You can learn as much as you can from a textbook, but until you apply it and put it in real life. So they can come here and they know that everyone here understands, knows that they're still intelligent, and we can help them communicate. And it's a place for them to just come have fun, too. Michael can too. Daybreak today. The two-week camp wraps up with a concert and art show. It takes place at 6 p.m. Thursday inside the Majin Theater on the Texas Tech campus. It is free, and the public is invited to join. Thank you, Michael. That is motivating this Monday.